down here. I've been helped getting my savvy clip put on. I'm a little anxious, I'm a little nervous, but they're so kind and so are great at explaining things. So we shall see. I'll jump back on to explain to you guys what it was like. My hair is a mess. <laughs> Quarantine hair still going on. Anyway, I'll, I'll let you guys know what it was like. Um, I am a little nervous. I just get nervous with these. So savvy clip is supposed to be a very minimal invasive like thing that goes in the breast that guides the breast surgeon to actually remove the calcification. So we'll see. Hey guys. Hey YouTube. So I'm jumping on to share with you guys about my savvy clip procedure. So many of you guys know, if you're new to my channel, um, I have breast cancer. I have DCIS, which is ductal carcinoma in situ. Currently right now it is completely isolated in my left breast and we are just kind of getting to the process of getting um, my lumpectomy done, which is really great because now that a lot of things are lifting from Corona, we haven't fully lifted all of the lockdown here in Florida, but they are gradually lifting some things. And one of the one things that was lifted was that many surgeries that were elected for cancer are now going to be, people are gonna be moving forward with it. So praise God, yay, that's exciting. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little congested. Every time I get on these videos, I get congested. It's so crazy. Anyway, I wanted to share my experience with the Savvy Clip because, like always, I go online and I never find an adequate video that really talks in detail what the experience is like. I like to know what I'm going to be going in for when I'm going to actually have a procedure done. Now, I don't know how, if some people think that's wise, maybe that's not the smartest thing to do. But for me, that works. I just like to have that piece of what it is I know that I'm gonna get. With this one, I wasn't, I couldn't find any videos other than the um, medical ones that are out there. There was nothing else that I actually heard from other women that have cancer that are had the savvy clip other than these outlets that I have on Facebook. I did ask a couple, couple questions there. And those women were really amazing. My pink sisters, <laughs> I never thought I would be part of this group, but I am honored to be connected with them. Um, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't, I'm not going to lie, but <clears throat> this is the card I've been dealt. And so those women are really amazing. They've been very encouraging, so kind, and just so, it's just so nice. Every time I have a question, they've been so great. So there's a lot of them on Facebook. There's different groups you can get attached to and uh, connect with, which are great. So let's talk about the Savvy Clip procedure. So my lumpectomy that I'm getting done is called the Savvy Clip. Basically, it's a really, it's been, out, I'm sure it's been out for a couple of years now, um, but it's a rather new procedure that's not very invasive, meaning they don't really have to do a large incision in your breast. And um, they're sometimes able to do it through the actual nipple area, which I'm, I think that's how I'm getting it done, but I can't remember if that's what she said. Either way, I'm supposed to have a very small incision in the front left part. So, my cancer is on the left hand side so they would make an incision here and then they would take out the 2.7 centimeters but actually they'll take more than that because they want you to have clear margins and what that means is if you're if your two more are calcifications are one point something to two point something they'll always take a little more just to make sure that the margins are clear which is good because you don't want any cancer to come back and a lot of times that's why you're required to do radiation so I was like, okay, I'm great. I'm done with that because I wasn't really sure how my original breast surgeon was going to do it, which was a male, Dr. Jeremy John. He's amazing. He was very sweet. Only reason I changed them was because the time frame that he wanted was July and I didn't want to wait that long. So I wanted the cancer to be out and I didn't want to take a chance of my cancer becoming invasive. And because I have an aggressive cancer, which means that it develops quickly and can definitely move out of the duct area and it can move into other areas. So I didn't want to take that chance. So I feel like I made the right choice. So I'm not sure how he was going to do his, um, or even if he was going to do the savvy clip, I'm not even hundred percent sure on that. I just know that Dr. Sagal, which is a female, um, my new female breast surgeon will be doing it that way. And I believe she said that they would be doing it right out of the nipple area. So, all right. So I like to keep everything in the same place. So I've been going to Celebration Health. So if you live in Florida, that is a really great hospital. I love it because it's Christian based. So there's all kinds of cool pictures of Jesus. Yes, I'm a Jesus lover. I can't help it. He's in my heart. He owns my heart. <laughs> it's Jesus, my husband and my kids. Then that's the order I, I work in. Anyway, um, 
So I'm just really, I just love that hospital. And I never knew, and I just think it's just so wild because I never knew that, you know, in all the years that I've been going there for almost five or six years, that I would ever even have to be dealing with cancer. And that the very place that I got my mammogram was actually a cancer center. And, you know, it's funny because I felt like the Holy Spirit was really showing me those things when I was going through my biopsy because you're such a bucket of emotions. And when I was walking through the hospital, I mean, through that area, so I got cut off. Sorry. Um, so basically, I was saying that I felt like the Holy Spirit was showing me all these things when because, you know, you're such a bucket of emotions when you're going through your biopsy. You know, I always knew when they had the paper, I didn't know that I was going to have cancer. So I didn't feel I don't know. I was like, do I have kids? Can it? Can this really be real? Like those thoughts go through your mind, you know, and you're like thinking, oh. But I remember as I was walking through that building and where I would get my mammogram for the last four years, that this specific time I felt like the Lord was really showing me, oh, that's that's a radiation department. Oh, wait, they have chemo upstairs in the second floor. And I never ever connected the dots until I had gotten my mammogram. And then they said, Hey, you know, everything looks a little suspicious, blah, blah, blah. And so I just felt like I really feel that the Lord loves loves us so much. He loves us, not just me. But he was gently breaking me the news in a very spiritual way that I was just like so connected and so tapped into that. Like, all right, Lord, I hear you. Thank you for showing me. And it just really allowed me that when I got the news, it just allowed me to receive it in a different way. I did cry, of course. I shared that in my other videos. Everybody gets emotional. Some people cry, some people don't cry. I mean, I cried and then I was fine. I was just like, dust yourself off. You're going to be okay. And so, you know, so I'm very prone to this hospital. I just love the whole atmosphere there. But unfortunately, I'm going to be having my my surgery at Orlando Health, which is not a bad hospital. It's just such a very busy hospital. So that's when she recommended the Savvy Clip. And I was like, okay, cool. So before you can get the lumpectomy with the Savvy Clip, it's you need to do research on it. So I really highly recommend that you would go Google Savvy Clip Lumpectomy and you'll be able to get a bunch of information. Everybody keeps calling me while I'm making this video. <laughs> anyway, so if you do your research, you'll, you'll find a lot of research you can read. But as far as someone explaining it like I'm about to do, I didn't find any videos like that. So that's why I was like, I need to make a video on that. So basically the setup is, is very identical to a biopsy. Only the biopsy, the needle is like yay big. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds a little exaggerated, but it is yay big. They do use a lot, a, a lot finer needle, but it is a pretty, it's a long needle, maybe half the size of the one I just showed, I just kind of showed. But, um, and it is doable. Like you can sit through it and get through it, but it does, it hurt me. And I did feel pain, but again, the entire time that I've had this whole, breast cancer situation going on. I have had a lot of breast pain. I have had pain in my lymph nodes. Um, my rheumatologist said that my lymph nodes were swollen, yet my breast surgeon said that they were not swollen. Yet today I had a sonogram and they said they don't look swollen. So I don't know. I All I know is that I have pain every day in my armpit, on my right breast where I don't have the cancer, and in my left breast where the cancer is. And now that they did that procedure, I'm in a lot of pain I, I just have a high tolerance of pain, but I think the local anest uh, anesthetic that they give you is starting to wear off. And because I had the procedure done at one, almost quarter to two. So I think by now it's starting to wear off and I can feel it. Um, I also have a ha instantly I got a, a hematoma. So I'll talk about that. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm sorry. So basically you do the registration, you go in, they go through the paperwork, they have you go inside, they make you change into your room and then they take you to the room. <clears throat> this procedure is sitting up. So you are in a sitting position, which is really good to know because I didn't know that. I was a little worried that it was going to be in a laying down position at, like most of the biopsies are. I did not have a laying down position. I had a sitting up position because I couldn't do it. I made a video about that as well. It just was too complicated for me with all the other issues I have going on physically. So I didn't know whether this was going to be sitting or standing I mean, sitting or, or laying down. And luckily, it was in a sitting position again. So I'm glad, I'm very glad that I went back to the place that I was at because they just were great. They know me, so it felt like home. So my nurse comes in, which she actually was one of the head nurses. And she was so sweet. She went into details of what they were going to do. They were they put your breast in another mammo machine. Um, and they, you know, make it nice and flat like a pancake. <laughs> And that always hurt me. I don't know about anybody else, but that, those, I've always found those painful. Not, 
I think more so now that I have cancer because my breasts hurt so much. And again, remember I have rheumatoid, so I have a lot of inflammation issues. Those things could be linked to that. So when you watch my videos and I'm sharing those things, please keep that in mind because if you don't have any of those issues, it might not cause you as much pain. But for me, being that I have rheumatoid and I've lived with this for 10 years and I have a very severe case of it, that is why I feel a lot of pain sometimes. So, sorry, I don't know what's going on in my video. So that's the reason. So that was very uncomfortable and I had to stay in that posture for at least 30 minutes, maybe a little more, because um, they had to take pictures. So while you're in that posture, the radiology radiologist tech, who is the one that's going to do the procedure, it's not a surgeon or anybody, It's a, a but he's he is licensed to do this. This is what he does. He's the one that does the biopsies. So it's not a regular tech. It is the radiologist, basically. Is that right? Radiologist tech. Yeah. He's the one that looks at your mammograms too and tells you if he sees anything suspicious. They pretty much can tell just by looking at them for so many years of experience that they have. So I was like, all right, cool. It was the same guy that gave me my biopsy. So he remembered me. So it was nice because I felt like I was in a family environment, you know? So they put your breasts in there. They start taking pictures. You know, you're in this position. Your arm has to be like this and your breast is cupped in the machine. And of course, you, you know, I thought it was better not to look. If you want to look, you can look. Of course, everything is right there. You can see it. You can see the needle sticking out, all of it. So I didn't want to look too much. So as quickly as I looked, I was like, oop. I looked over to the right because I was so anxious. I had anxiety, actually. And I didn't take any medication for this one. And then I did, I did decide to take it, but it was way too late. And it didn't really kick in. So I pretty much was cold turkey. <laughs> so I did feel the needle. They give you a local anesthetic. I did feel that. And it was really weird because... They start out at the base. I'm going to show you. They start because I'm going to show you my actual incision my, where they did it. But for me, my calcifications are up here. It's my left upper quadrant of my breast. And they went here to put the needle in, right? So for whatever reason, I felt it here. And I have a huge uh, hematoma here, which I'm going to show you. But it was really wild because they had to go in there and you can see it. And it's just it was really wild. Like, I was just like, ugh. That felt really weird. I felt it. So he first goes in there and starts to numb it, but then he goes deeper into the tissue. I did feel that wholeheartedly. I was just like, I got tense a little bit, you know, and they were so sweet. The head nurse again was holding my hand and talking to me. They let me listen to Christian music, which was nice. Um, and it's funny because he wouldn't start until they gave me the phone, which I thought was really cool. I was like, he's like, can she please have her phone? I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> I needed something to like, Sometimes, even listen, even as a Christian, sometimes your mind will trip you up. And so I was really in my head at the moment. So I was really trying to just listen to scripture. I have this really cool anxiety scripture that I found on uh, YouTube that I listened to it just when I have those moments. And it's so peaceful and it just, you know, it helped me. So whatever floats your boat, you know, you might not, that might not work for you, but it did for me. So, so basically, um, when they put that, whatever he did, as he went in really deep with the needle, I could feel that. Okay, okay. I think I must have gotten 10 phone calls during this YouTube video. So I'll if I repeat myself, I'm really, really sorry. It's not intentional. Anyway, so as they were going in with the needle, like I felt something like really deep on the side where I have the hematoma. And I was like, I made like a reaction. I was like, oh, and she squeezed my hand. And I don't know what that was. I just know it, it was a quick procedure. Um... They do have to take a lot of pictures. So after they um, do that part and they put the needle on, it felt like the needle went in pretty deep because if you figure where the calcifications are, where they're going in, so it's a pretty long needle. And maybe that's what I felt. I feel like maybe they might've hit something else that caused that hematoma. And then she said, oh, you're not gonna have any pain. It's like very painless. Um, you won't even have any bruising. We just put a Band-Aid. They don't even give you ice packs. But for me, that didn't work out that way. I actually got bruising right away. I got a hematoma and I had to get two ice packs on the way out because it wasn't going down. So after they put the needle in, he took more pictures and then I sat there for another like 10, 10 minutes. And then um, what they do is after they place it, there's this small little click. So like they shoot something in it, but I didn't see that. I just know that I heard this little click and I felt like there was pressure and then they said, oh, you're all done, but we can't take out the needle yet. So then they, I looked down and I could see the needle, needle sticking out of my breast. And I was like, oh, let me not look that way. So then um, what they did was after that, he they removed my breast from the mammogram. 
and then they put me because they do a side profile and then they put you on a flat one like this. So it's first a side profile one and then you go to an anim, another mammal picture like this and they take your breast with the needle in it and they put it back in and then they come down, they take more pictures and then that's when they do the click that I was just talking about and then they remove the needle. And so they did that. Um, they said it's very minimal blood, like a couple blood drops, but I feel like I have a really huge hematoma <laughs> to be honest. And um, then they lay you back and they take this magnet magnetic probe because what happens is this little microscopic uh, magnetic thing that they put inside your breast, it sends sound waves. And so they have to make sure that it's in the right place. So then they take the probe and they put it on your breast and it starts making this really loud magnetic noise. And then they know, oh, okay, it's in the right place, it's in there. And so then when you go for surgery, your surgeon has another probe that's bigger but this time they're inside. Okay, I'm so annoyed. I'm getting so many phone calls. It's not even funny. <laughs> so my video is going to be a lot of interruptions, but it's okay. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to make the just of it. So basically, that was it. They removed the needle and then they took more pictures and then they laid me back down to because they wanted me to be in the position that I would be if I was having surgery. And then they put the probe to make sure that it was there and it was active. So, And then they give you these pictures because I'm not having it there. They gave me the pictures and I could actually see them, which I'm going to have my daughter get for me real quick. I'm going to pause the video just to show you. Okay, so I wanted to show show you so that way you could see. So basically, they give you, because I'm not having the surgery at that hospital, they gave me my actual pictures. And I'm going to show you what the clip looks like. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. Oh, maybe you won't. Okay, maybe you will, maybe you won't. Let me see, maybe if I put a little bit more light. Okay, so there's my breast, right? There's a glare. But if I come a little closer, that thing right there is the clip that they put in. And you see that it's got, I don't know if you can see that. If I come this way, maybe that's better. That little clip is what they put inside you. And at the very end, there's these radioactive little wires and that's where they send so basically they'll remove that. It looks a little big. I don't know if that's like a really huge picture. I don't know if that's the size of my cancer. I'm thinking that that is because it's 2.7 centimeters and they will be taking a lot more. So that's what I'm thinking. Let me show you the other one because I think that's like a really enhanced picture. And then on this one, maybe you can see it better. Oh, there might be a glare. I really wanted to show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's it right there. That's what they put inside your breast. And so that will come out when I have surgery. So basically, when I go from my lumpectomy, that clip will come out as well as the clip that they put in for the um, biopsy. Because when you have your biopsy, they also put in a clip so that the surgeon can see where your cancer is and where they have to go. Um, but so I have two clips in my breast, uh, both of them will come out and then I'm going to be left with like a little, like your breast, like a slant. So I'm going to try to show you, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to try to show you <clears throat> my breast, not my whole breast cause that's not allowed, but basically I want to show you, hold on. <laughs> I know this is horrible, but you know, this is going to help somebody. And so that's why I'm doing it. My breast hurts really bad though to be honest. So I'm going to come up just to show you. So here, uh, this is horrible because I feel so inappropriate. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. Okay. That's not even where I don't even have the cancer is not here. The cancer is here. So they actually go in on this side where the bandaid is. I don't know if I can take the bandaid off. I haven't moved it off since. Uh, So basically they went right there in the same, pretty much in the same incision where I had my biopsy. I'm going to put it back. But what was weird is that I felt it and it shot right here. So I have a big hematoma and it's like super like black and blue and it'll probably get worse tomorrow. But yeah, so basically that happened and they said that that would not happen. So I'm not sure why. 
I got a hematoma like that, but that's where I felt the pain. So they went in on this side, but I felt this really sharp pain here that it like hurt. Like I was like, what is going on? Like, and then I grabbed her hand and then this was, it was like really hard. It's a little, it's not as hard now, but like it, it was really swollen and like protruding through my skin. And that's why I was like, Hey, you said that, you know, I had to get their attention because I was like, you said it, it wasn't, it wasn't going to turn black and blue and like, it's already black and blue. And then they were like, all right, keep an eye on it. Make sure you ice it for two days. If it grows or gets bigger, um, let us know. So, so basically that was it somewhere I'm going to put in, I think that I have a video of the actual room. I'm going to insert that in the very beginning of the video so that you can see it. I'll also take pictures and add a few pictures of this, but that's pretty much it. So that's all to a savvy clip. Yes, you can get through the savvy clip in, um, in placement. It's not horrible. You are going to feel a little bit of pain, but depending on your pain tolerance, and I have a high pain tolerance, um, I still felt a little bit. I don't know if it's just that maybe the local anesthetic didn't kick in as much. I don't know. But, or because I've had pain before. I'm an interesting case when it comes to breast cancer because I have other health issues going on. So there again, it's the rheumatoid factor. It's the inflammation factor. All those things can play a part on how you get through that process. It is very, very doable. It is very, very, um, very minimally invasive. A lot better than the biopsy any day because they're not actually taking anything from you. They're placing them, but it still bothered me. It still hurt and my breast is really hurting a lot. So, um, so yeah, that's it. So that's, so I just wanted to just kind of like, you know, fill you in with that and just tell you thanks for watching me. Thanks for following me on this journey. Um, please subscribe and like the video. Um, if you want to talk to me, you want to send me like a message. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to pray for you. I would love to lift you up. I would like to just connect with you and say, hey, you're not alone. And that, you know, even though cancer is scary, God is bigger. We serve a good God and he's faithful to bring us through any season. And even if it didn't work out that way, I know that my reward would be to see him in heaven. So that's enough for me. I don't know if it is for you, but I know that's enough for me. And God is good. I just know he's good. So I'm looking forward to, you know, getting through this and then, even letting this be a testimony to other people that um, have to deal with cancer. So my heart goes out to everybody who's dealing with cancer, um, to all my pink sisters. <laughs> Love you. God bless you. And thank you for watching. You guys, see you later and be blessed. Peace out. Bye. Black and blue there. That looks really bad. Look at that. Yeah, like this side is not burst. It's not going to burst.